lovelies, I'm Arielle and this is Maven Unmasked and welcome to my unboxing of the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed I'm really excited to finally receive this deck. It's from Hay House Publishing and I definitely think um, if you saw my unboxing of the Mystical Shaman Oracle, I, f I just have a feeling that this will be a great companion deck um, for that. If you know anything about me, if you know anything about my website, mavenunmasked.com, um, I do have a few blog posts um, about spirit animals, what is a spirit animal, um, as well as my own feelings and interpretations on what a few spirit animals mean to me. So if you want to check that out, go on, go on over to mavenunmasked.com and check out the blog. But I'm really excited about this deck. If you want to work with spirit animals, and I think this time of year, um, we're in fall, getting ready to head into winter here soon, I feel like this deck is a great opportunity to begin your work with spirit animals and the time of year I think is great for that even though you can work with them all year long for me personally something about the fall and the winter and that time to go within is a great time for connecting with animal spirits so this is a 68 card deck and guidebook um, I do want to read the back of the box for you before we go ahead and open her up so the spirits residing in the natural world have much to share and the secrets of their forgotten language are now available to you through the spirit animal oracle. They urge us to reclaim our essential truth that we are one in spirit connected to every living thing on this earth in a unified consciousness. With the draw of a card, you can share in this wisdom and better navigate your life, move beyond the obstacles of your perceived limitations and tune in to your infinite potential. Represented in the 68 cards of this beautifully illustrated oracle deck are the higher spirits of different animals, insects, fish, and birds. Every animal has a transcendent archetypal symbolism, a universal meaning holding a message of deep, enduring truth. With guidance from intuitive master and oracle expert Colette Baron reed you can now awaken to your partnership with spirit to co-create your reality in service to the world. So beautiful. Um, animal spirits hold so much wisdom and they have so much to teach us about life, about values, about ourselves and who we innately are. Um, also know with spirit animals that some work with you for all of your life and some may just come in every once in a while to teach you a particular lesson. Um, oftentimes it may be in a dream you have where this animal is prominent or you may have one kind of dodge out in front of you um, across the road. There are so many ways that they come to you. So so just be open to working with them and to exploring them and the lessons that they teach you. Um, you don't have to always go with somebody else's meaning of what this animal means to you. Do some research about them on, on your own and kind of come up with your own ideas about what message, message it is they're trying to teach you or sit with that animal in meditation and listen to their wisdom and guidance. So let's go ahead and open her up. Spirit animals are my favorite. I am an animal lover um, since I was a child. So, okay, it comes in this lovely hay house box. Nice and sturdy. It's really thick. So um, with 68 cards, you know, that's a lot of cards. So I think that's great for an Oracle deck. Um, it's got this handy dandy, if I can open it, magnetic lid. Um, so keep your cards nice and safe and easy to open. So but I did see a message on the inside of the box. So it says, the spirits residing in the natural world have much to share and the secrets of their forgotten language are now available to you. Okay, so beautiful. I love the artwork. Um, when I did see the artwork, I thought it was one I had to have. Um, I'm a sucker for color and artwork. Um, it also says here, on the side, the abundant universe will provide. I don't know how well you can see that, but the abundant universe will provide. Oh, it also says it here as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the guidebook. So the guidebook is approximately 204 pages. It's nice and thick. Um, it got has some other works by um, Colette here. This deck was published in 2018. And then you have your lovely table of contents. 
okay? Um, there's a section for Welcome Seeker, Introduction, How to Work with the Spirit Animal Oracle, and then there's a whole section for the cards, their messages, and their meanings. Okay, and it's all in alphabetical order, so easy to find um, the animal that you're looking for. So, it has a few spreads in here. One card, three card readings. Um, there's a seven card new moon reading. So for those of you who like to do your new moon manifesting, be sure to check out this spread. And a little bit about how to work with the cards. And then we go into the cards, their messages, and their meanings. Okay, um, so there's a small um, non-color reproduction um, of the card image here. Um, it gives you the card number as well as the name of the animal spirit represented on the card. And then it has a little quote or quick um, message or affirmation from that animal written here. So for ant spirit, the first card, it says time to collaborate. And I love that because ants, you know, they... They're a team, the colony, okay? They can do so much and move so much together. They are always moving in formation and with each other working as a team. So when you collaborate, you can get so much more done. I love that. Um, it also goes into the Oracle message. <coughs> Excuse me. There's, and there's a protection message as well. So I'm not sure if this deck works with reversals or not. Um, some decks with the protection message, it may be if you get that card reversed. I'm not quite sure if this deck um, works that way, but I would like to take it as there's a two-fold message um, here as well. So um, I think it's got a decent amount of information um, for the Oracle message as well as the protection message. And I just want to take a look at something... To see if it possibly gives any information um, about that. I don't think so. Um, but I'm not going to take up too much time on it. Um, but be sure to read the guidebook on your own for more information. <clears throat> Alrighty, so let's get to the cards, the part I know everyone's been waiting for, for me to stop talking and just show the cards, but I always have to talk about the guidebook um, because I know they put so much work and effort um, into the guidebook. And I'm not just talking about Colette specifically, but I'm talking about um, just deck creators in general. The guidebook is a task, so I have to honor that. The backs of the cards are absolutely gorgeous. They've got a little mandala here. Okay, and it um, has a very solar-like energy um, to me. This is about how thick the deck is. Okay, cardstock. Pretty good. Um, fairly similar to the Mystical Shaman Oracle um, or the Good Tarot, which is another deck by Colette. Okay, so it has that same kind of feel um, to it if you want to have a better idea. I love that there's no shine, glaze, shimmer to the cards. There's no golded gilding on it. I love it. Um, nice matte soft finish. So there's no glare if you're trying to take pictures for Instagram or whatever you like. Okay, so the first one we have here, of course, is the ant spirit, which I just showed you. Okay, the pieces of the puzzle that work together to create something beautiful. Um, also, the little affirmation is written here on the bottom of the card, right underneath the card number and the animal spirit. So we have antelope. I love this armadillo spirit self set healthy boundaries um, because yes the armadillo does have his little shell but when danger approaches he'll kind of curl up into a ball you know of protection so he knows when to set boundaries when enough is enough <laughs> I love this one too badger spirit be fearless and bold honey badger <laughs> okay <laughs> 
Oh, I love this one too. Bat Spirit, a rebirth is assured. And this is a new way of looking at bat for me. Typically with bat, um, I think of like the hanged man in tarot, changing your perspective. Um, but also I love that the bat is talking about rebirth in this particular deck, because if you think about bat in the traditional sense, you know, the cave and the cave being the womb of the earth. And at night they, they burst forth in, into a new day for them. They sleep during the day and the nighttime is, is their, their, um, their time of day, their time of awakening and rebirth. So being born out of the cave and into a new day. I love that. Cute. <laughs> Beaver, lay solid foundation. The Beaver dams, right? Sweet. Bee. Honeybees work so hard, the colony, again, similar to ants in the way that they work together, but sweet results await. Keep working hard and sweetness will surely follow. Um, I don't want to show you all of the cards because I want you to discover the deck on your own. Um, so I'm just going to show you a few. I love this one too. Canary Spirit, sing your own song. Okay. I love that. I was doing a reading today and um, mediumship reading and um, they brought Canary to me. So I'm really happy and surprised and pleased um, to see it in this deck. And I love my kitty cat. So cat spirit, claim your independence. Cats don't take any mess um, from anyone. They're very independent creatures. They're different from dogs in that aspect. They can still survive on their own outside as ferals. They don't need us. They allow us <laughs> to be a part of their world and their existence. They're independent creatures for sure. So I love that. Ooh, this one too. This is beautiful. I love the colors of this deck. I love um, the flowers. I think it honors the animals in a beautiful way, but in a way that's still um, appealing to our eye in a sense with all of the array of colors because the animal kingdom is an array of colors and personalities and textures and different energies itself. So chameleon spirit, act as if, okay? Act as if you already have everything you've been dreaming of and waiting for and it too will become yours. Okay, I don't feel like this is saying be a copycat you know, be your own self um, because what chameleon does is, you know, as it's taking its next step, it's, you know, changing its colors to fit its surroundings. So, um, you know, learning to blend in, in, in a sense, in that way, but even more so with this card, act as if all you desire is already yours. Taking on that energy, stepping into that aura, stepping into that color, that world, and it will become yours. I love that. Coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. Coyote is a trickster spirit. Okay, that may lead you astray, but there's so many lessons to be learned. Even if you step off your path for a moment, there's lessons in detours. Dear spirit, bring a gentle touch. And I'm really happy to see deer here um, for the last like, two or three weeks, um, well, probably two or three weeks ago, but for two weeks solid, every day I would come home and go outside to enjoy the night air and there would be four deer in my yard <laughs> and they would, you know, all stop and turn around and look at me and I would try to send out positive thoughts and positive loving energy from my heart chakra to them, you know, in some kind of telepathic communication um, that it's safe and then I'm not going to bother them and I'm not going to hurt them. And it was like literally every time I did that and tried to send out that energy, they would calm down and then go back to eating their grass. <laughs> um, so be gentle. Bring a gentle touch. I love that. And if I have to talk about cats, I have to talk about the dogs too. So dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. And when we think of dogs, we always think of man's best friend. We think of loyalty. We think of that unconditional love. So I love seeing dogs represented here as well. Um, What else? 
like you said, I don't want to show all of them. I'm going to show Dragonfly because I know Dragonfly resonates with so many people. Dragonfly actually freaks me out um, a little bit in my personal life just because they are, they move so quickly and there's a sense of unsuredness about, are you going this way? Are you going that way? Kind of thing. But it says truth transcends illusion truth transcends illusion and a lot of times dragonflies are often confused with fairies just because of their of their look and how they move about but truth transcends illusion what else Ooh, i like this okay electric eel spirit bring your ideas to life gorgeous elephant spirit learn from the past Remember, an elephant never forgets. <laughs> Beautiful. Flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between. <laughs> Giraffe, ooh, see the big picture. Hold on, we have, we have a runner, you guys. We have a runner. Grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith, young grasshopper. <laughs> Okay, let's see, let's see. Hummingbird, be here now. Koi fish, there is always enough. Koi are a symbol of abundance and riches and prosperity. There is always enough to go around for everyone. Moth, surrender now. Mouse, tend to the small things. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Panther, reclaim your power. I love panthers. Big cats are my favorite. <laughs> parrot spirit, watch your words. <laughs> you know, parrot will repeat everything you say, whether it's pleasant or not. <laughs> so watch your words. Maybe, you know, who else may be repeating them? Peacock spirit, let it shine. Pig, use your mind wisely. Pigs are very intelligent creatures. Let's see what else. Rhino spirit, Oop. overcome any obstacle. And again, I'm not going to show them all. Skunk, know your worth. Stag spirit, take the lead. And again, the image um, on the front of the box is from this card. Starfish. <laughs> Turkey, give with gratitude and grace. Vulture, I love this. Nothing is wasted. I love um, vulture. They eat the dead things. Whenever I'm doing releasing work, I always invite vulture in to eat the dead things, the things that no longer serve me. Wasp, sometimes life stings. Okay. Oh, white raven. Trust in the magic. I love that. Okay. And that is all I'm going to show you guys so you can discover the rest on your own. Again, there's 68 beautiful cards here. So I'm just going to take a moment to shuffle here and to call in everyone's angels, guides, ancestors, loved ones in spirit, and their animal spirits for anyone who's watching this video, whenever they're watching this video, to bring us a message for our best and highest good. What do we need to know? What do we need to do? What do we need to work on? These cards, by the way, do give a nice rifle shuffle if you enjoy doing that. It's a message for our best and highest good. Thank you. Alrighty, alrighty. So we had three fallout. We had a stag, porcupine, and rabbit. Take the lead. Time for a beginner mind. And now is a lucky time. So now is a lucky time for new beginnings and for you to take charge and control back of your life, to charge ahead with honor and grace, but also know as you step into a leadership role, be mindful that not everyone has the same experience and knowledge that you have. So if you're going to be teaching anyone or trying to share your wisdom with them, you know, take a step back and remember what it was like for you when you were a beginner. So that way you can offer more guidance and from um, a perspective 
perspective of where those you're teaching are at so you're not going over their heads bring it back to beginner level and take take up the charge take take lead um, for them, set a good example, and kind of come back to them on that level, on their level, remembering what it was like for you when you were first starting. So now is a lucky time for you to kind of take charge, take the lead, but just remember what it was like when you were starting anew so that you are more able to help others. But I'm Arielle, and this has been Maven Unmasked with your unboxing and first impressions of the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. If you would like to book a reading with me, please be sure to check out my website, www.mavenunmasked.com slash book a reading, or just click on the book a readings tab. It has been an honor and a pleasure reviewing this deck for you, and happy shuffling, lovelies. Bye.